Hare Krishna, my name is Ishwar Das. Today we will speak on the topic, how to be in constantly in touch with Krishna. Uh, Krishna is a name for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, whether we are devotees of Krishna, under the name of, Krishna, of God, under the name of Krishna, or under the name of Allah, or Jehovah, any bona fide name of God, then to be constantly in touch means to be constantly hearing and chanting uh, with an attitude, an uh, attitude of love. Uh, uh, of course, if we don't have attraction for something, we don't have inclination to do that thing. So, unless there is some attraction, we have to have attraction. So, how are we going to have attraction in the first place? In the first place, uh, we have to hear from authority. We have to hear from the scriptures. We have to hear from persons who are following the scriptures. And we have to act on the instructions of both the scriptures and such persons who are following the scriptures. And in this way, uh, by constantly hearing and chanting about the Lord, then there is a gradual transformation that takes place in the mind. Ordinarily, the mind is always attracted to sense pleasure. Because generally we think we are these bodies and therefore the mind is constantly uh, deluded by, from one sense to another. Sometimes it's attracted by what it can see, what it can smell, what it can taste. So in this way it is always going all over the place. But when we acquire knowledge about God, Bhuktaram Yajna Tapasam Sarva Loke Maheshwaram who is the enjoyer? Who is the Maheshwaram, the supreme controller? Uh, so when we acquire knowledge about this person, then we know that he is the actual enjoyer, and therefore we are not actually enjoyers. First of all, we are not these bodies. Uh, we are the soul that is within these bodies, and we have an eternal relationship with this uh, supreme personality of Godhead and this relationship is based on love. It's a loving relationship. Uh, but because we're deluded about this concept of thinking that we are these bodies, therefore we think that our family members, our country, our friends, and all these different things that is related to the body are the real sources of our pleasure. But actually they are not, they are the sources of our distress. If we carefully note, we'll notice that the more we find love in these things, is the greater we will find distress in these things. Because when there is a time of separation, to that degree the, of intensity of love we feel for these things, so-called love, we feel for these things, to that degree we will feel intense pain. So whatever we consider to be giving us some feelings of love will be the cause of our pain. But in our relationship with God, because it is, it is not based on this bodily concept, because it is based on our relationship of, of our real self as a soul and our relationship, and He being a spiritual person, the source of everything for us, then when we constantly hear about him, he has activities, he has pastimes, he has a personality, uh, he's the most beautiful person, he's the richest person, he has the sweetest activities, the sweetest pastimes. So the more we hear about these things about him, then we become attracted. And we want to engage in such activities to serve him. Then the mind becomes gradually uh, distracted from the temporary sense pleasure and 
by the attainment of gradual development of knowledge, then we have the willpower to direct the mind to focus its attention on the, that which is of superior priority. And that superior priority is our relationship with God. And if we hear and chant constantly about Him, eh, we will gradually become able to constantly remember Him. So in this way, we will be in constantly in touch with God. So God is absolute. Therefore, by hearing and chanting about Him, we are actually in touch with Him. Hare Krishna.